Welcome to the captivating world of the animal kingdom, where nature's most intriguing creatures come to life through sound. From the stealthy prowling of big cats to the vibrant songs of tropical birds, this audio journey will immerse you in the sights and sounds of the wild. Discover the hidden stories of predators and prey, and witness the delicate balance of ecosystems. Listen as we explore the behavior, habitats, and unique characteristics that make each animal species extraordinary. Get ready for an auditory adventure through the diverse and fascinating realms of the animal kingdom. Chapter The Animal Kingdom When you look around, you will observe different animals with different structures and forms. As over a million species of animals have been described till now, the need for classification becomes all the more important. The classification also helps in assigning a systematic position to newly described species. 4.1. Basis of Classification In spite of differences in structure and form of different animals, there are fundamental features common to various individuals in relation to the arrangement of cells, body symmetry, nature of coalom, patterns of digestive, circulatory or reproductive systems. These features are used as the basis of animal classification, and some of them are discussed here. 4. 1.1. Levels of Organization Though all members of Animalia are multicellular, all of them do not exhibit the same pattern of organization of cells. For example, in sponges, the cells are arranged as loose cell aggregates, that is, they exhibit cellular level of organization. Some division of labor, activities, occur among the cells. In coelenterates, the arrangement of cells is more complex. Here the cells performing the same function are arranged into tissues, hence is called tissue level of organization. A still higher level of organization, that is, Organ level is exhibited by members of platyhelminthes and other higher fella, where tissues are grouped together to form organs, each specialized for a particular function. In animals like annelids, arthropods, mollusks, echinoderms, and chordates, organs have associated to form functional systems, each system concerned with a specific physiological function. This pattern is called organ system level of organization. Organ systems in different groups of animals exhibit various patterns of complexities. For example, the digestive system in Platyhelminthes has only a single opening to the outside of the body that serves as both mouth and anus, and is hence called incomplete. A complete digestive system has two openings, mouth and anus. Similarly, the circulatory system may be of two types. One, open type in which the blood is pumped out of the heart and the cells and tissues are directly bathed in it or two. Closed type in which the blood is circulated through a series of vessels of varying diameters, arteries, veins, and capillaries. 4. 1.2 Symmetry Animals can be categorized on the basis of their symmetry. Sponges are mostly asymmetrical, that is, any plane that passes through the center does not divide them into equal halves. When any plane passing through the central axis of the body divides the organism into two identical halves, it is called radial symmetry. Coelenterates, cetenophores, and echinoderms have this kind of body plan. Figure 4, 1a, animals like annelids, arthropods, etc., where the body can be divided into identical left and right halves in only one plane, exhibit bilateral symmetry. Figure 4, 1b, Figure 4.1a, radial symmetry. Figure 4.1b, bilateral symmetry. 4. 1.3 diploblastic and triploblastic organization. Animals in which the cells are arranged in two embryonic layers, an external ectoderm and an internal endoderm, are called diploblastic animals, for example, coelenterates. An undifferentiated layer mesoglea is present in between the ectoderm and the endoderm. Figure 4. 2a. Those animals in which the developing embryo has a third germinal layer, mesoderm, in between the ectoderm and endoderm, are called triploblastic animals. Platyhelminthes to chordates, figure 4. 2b. Figure 4.2. 
showing germinal layers A. Diploblastic B. Triploblastic 4.1.4 Coelom Presence or absence of a cavity between the body wall and the gut wall is very important in classification. The body cavity which is lined by mesoderm is called coelom. Animals possessing coelom are called coelomates. For example, annelids, mollusks, arthropods, echinoderms, hemichordates and chordates. Figure 4.3a In some animals, the body cavity is not lined by mesoderm. Instead, the mesoderm is present as the scattered pouches in between the ectoderm and endoderm. Such a body cavity is called pseudocelome and the animals possessing them are called pseudocelomates. Example, Ascalminthus. Figure 4.3b The animals in which the body cavity is absent are called acelomates. Example, Platyhelminthus. Figure 4.3c Figure 4.3 Diagrammatic sectional view of A. Coelomate B. Pseudocelomate C. Acelomate 4. 1.5 Segmentation In some animals, the body is externally and internally divided into segments with a serial repetition of at least some organs. For example, in earthworm, the body shows this pattern called metameric segmentation, and the phenomenon is known as metamerism. 4. 1.6 Notochord Notochord is a mesodermally derived rod-like structure formed on the dorsal side during embryonic development in some animals. Animals with notochord are called chordates, and those animals which do not form this structure are called non-chordates, for example, periphera to echinoderms. 4.2 Classification of Animals The broad classification of Animalia, based on common fundamental features, as mentioned in the preceding sections, is given in Figure 4.4. Figure 4.4 Broad Classification of Kingdom Animalia Based on Common Fundamental Features The important characteristic features of the different phyla are described. 4. 2.1. Phylum Periphera. Members of this phylum are commonly known as sponges. They are generally marine and mostly asymmetrical animals. Figure 4.5. These are primitive multicellular animals and have cellular level of organization. Sponges have a water transport or canal system. Water enters through minute pores, ostia, in the body wall into a central cavity, sponga coil, from where it goes out through the osculum. This pathway of water transport is helpful in food gathering, respiratory exchange, and removal of waste. Choanocytes or collar cells line the sponga coil and the canals. Digestion is intracellular. The body is supported by a skeleton made up of spicules or spongin fibers. Sexes are not separate, hermaphrodite. That is, eggs and sperms are produced by the same individual. Sponges reproduce asexually by fragmentation and sexually by formation of gametes. Fertilization is internal and development is indirect, having a larval stage which is morphologically distinct from the adult. Figure 4.5. Examples for periphera. A. Sicon B. Eusponja C. Spongilla. Examples. Sicon sypha, spongilla, freshwater sponge, and euspongia, bath sponge. 4. 2.2. Phylum coelenterata, nidaria. They are aquatic, mostly marine, sessile or free-swimming, radially symmetrical animals. Figure 4.6. The name nidaria is derived from the nidoblasts or nidocytes, which contain the stinging capsules or nematocytes present on the tentacles and the body. Needleblasts are used for anchorage, defense, and for the capture of prey, figure 4.7. Nidarians exhibit tissue level of organization and are diploblastic. They have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening 
hypostoma. Digestion is extracellular and intracellular. Some of the cnidarians, for example, corals, have a skeleton composed of calcium carbonate. Cnidarians exhibit two basic body forms called polyp and medusa, figure 4.6. The former is a sessile and cylindrical form like hydra, adamsia, etc., whereas the latter is umbrella-shaped and free-swimming like aurelia or jellyfish. Those cnidarians, which exist in both forms, exhibit alternation of generation, metagenesis, that is, Polyps produce medusae asexually, and medusae form the polyps sexually, for example, obeliaia. Examples. Physalia, Portuguese man of war. Adamsia, sea anemone. Penatula, sea pen. Gorgonia, sea fan. And meandrina, brain coral. Figure 4.6. Examples of sea lenterata indicating outline of their body form. A. Aurelia, medusa. B. Adamsia, polyp. Figure 4.7, Diagrammatic View of Nidoblast. 4, 2.3, Phylum, Tenophora. Tenophores, commonly known as sea walnuts or comb jellies, are exclusively marine, radially symmetrical, diploblastic organisms with tissue level of organization. The body bears eight external rows of ciliated comb plates, which help in locomotion. Figure 4.8. Digestion is both extracellular and intracellular. Bioluminescence, the property of a living organism to emit light, is well marked in tenophores. Sexes are not separate. Reproduction takes place only by sexual means. Fertilization is external with indirect development. Examples, pleurobrachia and tenoplana. Figure 4.8, example of tenophora pleurobrachia. 4. 2.4. Phylum platyhelminthus. They have dorso ventrally flattened body, hence are called flatworms. Figure 4.9. These are mostly endoparasites found in animals, including human beings. Flatworms are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, and acellomate animals with organ level of organization. Hooks and suckers are present in the parasitic forms. Some of them absorb nutrients from the host directly through their body surface. Specialized cells called flame cells help in osmo regulation and excretion. Sexes are not separate. Fertilization is internal and development is through many larval stages. Some members like planaria possess high regeneration capacity. Examples, tania, tapeworm, fascula, liver fluke. Figure 4.9, examples of platyhelminthus, A, tapeworm, B, liver fluke. Four. 2.5. Phylum, Askelminthus. The body of the Askelminthus is circular in cross-section, hence the name roundworms. Figure 4.10. They may be free-living, aquatic and terrestrial, or parasitic in plants and animals. Roundworms have organ system level of body organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, and pseudo-coelomate animals. Alimentary canal is complete with a well-developed muscular pharynx. An excretory tube removes body waste from the body cavity through the excretory pore. Sexes are separate, dioecious, that is, males and females are distinct. Often females are longer than males. Fertilization is internal and development may be direct. The young ones resemble the adult or indirect. Examples, Ascaris, roundworm, Wucheraria, filaria worm, Antelostoma, hookworm. Figure 4.10, Askelminthus, roundworm. 4. 2.6. Phylum, Annelida. They may be aquatic, marine and freshwater, or terrestrial, free living and sometimes parasitic. They exhibit organ system level of body organization and bilateral symmetry. They are triploblastic, metamerically segmented, and their body surface is distinctly marked out into segments or metameries, Latin annulus, little ring, and hence the phylum name Annelida, figure 4.11. They possess longitudinal and circular muscles, which help in locomotion. Aquatic annelids like Nereus possess lateral appendages, parapodia, which help in swimming. A closed circulatory system is present. Nephridia, singular nephridium, help in osmoregulation and excretion. Neural system consists of paired ganglia, synganglion, 
connected by lateral nerves to a double ventral nerve cord. Nerus, in aquatic form, is dioecious, but earthworms and leeches are monoecious. Reproduction is sexual. Examples, Nerus ferritima, earthworm, and Hirudinaria, blood-sucking leech. Figure 4.11, examples of Analita, A, Nerus B, Hirudinaria. 4. 2.7. Phylum Arthropoda. This is the largest phylum of Animalia which includes insects. Over two-thirds of all named species on Earth are arthropods. Figure 4.12. They have organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, segmented, and coelomate animals. The body of arthropods is covered by chitinous exoskeleton. The body consists of head, thorax, and abdomen. They have jointed appendages, arthros means joint, poda means appendages. Respiratory organs are gills, book gills, book lungs, or tracheal system. Circulatory system is of open type. Sensory organs like antennae, eyes, compound and simple, statosis or balance organs are present. Excretion takes place through malpighian tubules. They are mostly dioecious. Fertilization is usually internal. They are mostly oviparous. Development may be direct or indirect. Examples, economically important insects, apis, honeybee, bombyx, silkworm, lacifer, lac insect, vectors, anopheles, culex, and aedes, mosquitoes, gregarious pest lacusta, locust, living fossil, limulus, king crab. Figure 4.12, examples of arthropoda, A, locust, B, butterfly, C, bone, C, Scorpion D, prawn. 4. 2.8. Phylum Mollusca. This is the second largest animal phylum. Figure 4.13. Mollusks are terrestrial or aquatic, marine or freshwater, having an organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, and coelomate animals. Body is covered by a calcareous shell and is unsegmented with a distinct head, muscular foot, and visceral hump. A soft and spongy layer of skin forms a mantle over the visceral hump. The space between the hump and the mantle is called the mantle cavity in which feather-like gills are present. They have respiratory and excretory functions. The anterior head region has sensory tentacles. The mouth contains a file-like rasping organ for feeding, called radula. They are usually dioecious and oviparous with indirect development. Examples, pila, apple snail, pinctada, pearl oyster, sepia, cuttlefish, loligo, squid, octopus, devilfish, aplysia, sea harrow, dentalium, tusk shell, and chetoplura, chitin. 4. 2.9. Phylum echinodermata. These animals have an endoskeleton of calcareous ossicles, and hence the name echinodermata, spiny-bodied, figure 4.14. All are marine with organ system level of organization. The adult echinoderms are radially symmetrical, but larvae are bilaterally symmetrical. They are triploblastic and C. elomate animals. Digestive system is complete with mouth on the lower ventral side and anus on the upper dorsal side. The most distinctive feature of echinoderms is the presence of water vascular system, which helps in locomotion, capture, and transport of food and respiration. An excretory system is absent. Sexes are separate. Reproduction is sexual. Fertilization is usually external. Development is indirect with free swimming larvae. Examples, Asterias, starfish, Echinus, sea urchin, Antidon, sea lily, Cucumaria, sea cucumber, and Ophira, brittle star. Figure 4.14. Examples for Echinodermata, A, Asterius, B, Ophira. 4.2.10. Phylum Hemichordata. Hemichordata was earlier considered as a subphylum under phylum Chordata, but now it is placed as a separate phylum under non-Chordata. This phylum consists of a small group of worm-like marine animals with organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, and coelomate animals. 
The body is cylindrical and is composed of an anterior proboscis, a collar, and a long trunk. Figure 4.15. Circulatory system is of open type. Respiration takes place through gills. Excretory organ is proboscis gland. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is external. Development is indirect. Examples. Balanoglossus and sacoglossus. Figure 4.15. Balanoglossus. 4.2.11. Phylum chordata. Animals belonging to phylum chordata are fundamentally characterized by the presence of a notochord, a dorsal hollow nerve cord, and paired pharyngeal gill slits. Figure 4.16. These are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, coelomate, with organ system level of organization. They possess a post-anal tail and a closed circulatory system. Figure 4.16, Chordata Characteristics. Table 4.1 presents a comparison of salient features of chordates and non-chordates. In chordates, notochord present. Central nervous system is dorsal, hollow, and single. Pharynx perforated by gill slits. Heart is ventral. A post-anal part, tail, is present. In non-chordates, notochord absent. Central nervous system is ventral, solid, and double. Gill slits are absent. Heart is dorsal, if present. Post-anal tail is absent. Phylum chordata is divided into three sub-phyla, urochordata, or tunicata, cephalochordata, and vertebrata. Subphyla, urochordata, and cephalochordata are often referred to as protochordates, figure 4.17, and are exclusively marine. In Eurocordata, notochord is present only in larval tail, while in Cephalochordata, it extends from head to tail region and is persistent throughout their life. Examples Eurocordata, Ascidia, Salpa, Doliolum, Cephalochordata, Branchiostoma, Amphioxus, or Lancelet. The members of Subphylum vertebrata possess notochord during the embryonic period. The notochord is replaced by a cartilaginous or bony vertebral column in the adult. Thus, all vertebrates are chordates, but all chordates are not vertebrates. Besides the basic chordate characters, vertebrates have a ventral muscular heart with two, three, or four chambers, kidneys for excretion, and osmoregulation, and paired appendages, which may be fins or limbs. The subphylum vertebrata is further divided as follows. Four point two point eleven point one, class Cyclostomata. All living members of the class Cyclostomata are ectoparasites on some fishes. They have an elongated body bearing six to fifteen pairs of gill slits for respiration. Cyclostomes have a sucking and circular mouth without jaws. Figure four point one eight. Their body is devoid of scales and paired fins. Cranium and vertebral column are cartilaginous. Circulation is of closed type. Cyclostomes are marine, but migrate for spawning to fresh water. After spawning, within a few days, they die. Their larvae, after metamorphosis, return to the ocean. Examples. Petromyzin, lamprey, and mexine hagfish. Figure 4.18, a jawless vertebrate, petromyzin. 4.2.11.2, class Chondrichthyus. They are marine animals with streamlined body and have cartilaginous endoskeleton, figure 4.19. Mouth is located ventrally. Notochord is persistent throughout life. Gill slits are separate and without operculum. Gill cover. The skin is tough, containing minute placoid scales. Teeth are modified placoid scales which are backwardly directed. Their jaws are very powerful. These animals are predaceous. Due to the absence of air bladder, they have to swim constantly to avoid sinking. Figure 4.19, example of cartilaginous fishes. A, scoliodon, B, pristis. Heart is two-chambered, one oracle and one ventricle. Some of them have electric organs, for example, torpedo, and some possess poison sting, for example, trigon. They are cold-blooded, 
poikilothermous animals. That is, they lack the capacity to regulate their body temperature. Sexes are separate. In males, pelvic fins bear claspers. They have internal fertilization, and many of them are viviparous. Examples, scoliodon, dogfish, pristus, sawfish, carcarodon, great white shark, trigon, stingray. 4.2.11.3. Class Ostichthyus. It includes both marine and freshwater fishes with bony endoskeleton. Their body is streamlined. Mouth is mostly terminal. Figure 4.20. They have four pairs of gills which are covered by an operculum on each side. Skin is covered with cycloid or tenoid scales. Air bladder is present which regulates buoyancy. Heart is two-chambered, one auricle and one ventricle. They are cold-blooded animals. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is usually external. They are mostly oviparous and development is direct. Examples, marine, exocoetus, flying fish, hippocampus, seahorse, freshwater labeo, rohu, katla, katla, clarius, mager, aquarium beta fighting fish, pterophyllum, angelfish. Figure 4.20, examples of bony fishes, A, hippocampus, B, Katla. 4.2.11.4, class, amphibia. As the name indicates, in Greek, amphi means dual and bios means life. Amphibians can live in aquatic as well as terrestrial habitats. Figure 4.21, most of them have two pairs of limbs. Body is divisible into head and trunk. Tail may be present in some. The amphibian skin is moist, without scales. The eyes have eyelids. A tympanum represents the ear. Alimentary canal, urinary and reproductive tracts open into a common chamber called cloaca which opens to the exterior. Respiration is by gills, lungs, and through skin. The heart is three-chambered, two auricles and one ventricle. These are cold-blooded animals. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is external. They are oviparous and development is direct or indirect. Examples, bufo, toad, rana, frog, hyla, tree frog, salamandra, salamander, ichthyophis, limbless amphibia. Figure 4.21. Examples of amphibia, A, salamandra, B. Rana. 4.2.11.5. Class, Reptilia. The class name refers to their creeping or crawling mode of locomotion, in Latin, repair or reptum, to creep or crawl. They are mostly terrestrial animals, and their body is covered by dry and cornified skin, epidermal scales or scutes. Figure 4.22. They do not have external ear openings. Tympanum represents ear. Limbs, when present, are two pairs. Heart is usually three-chambered, but four-chambered in crocodiles. Reptiles are poikilotherms. Snakes and lizards shed their scales as skin cast. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is internal. They are oviparous, and development is direct. Examples, cologne, turtle, testudo, Tortoise, chameleon, tree lizard, colotes, garden lizard, crocodilus, crocodile, alligator, alligator, hemidactylus, wall lizard, poisonous snakes, nausea, cobra, bangarus, crate, vipera, viper. Figure 4.22. Reptiles A. Chameleon, B. Crocodilus, C. Colony, D. Nausea. 4.2.11.6. Class Avis. The characteristic features of Avis birds are the presence of feathers, and most of them can fly except flightless birds, for example, ostrich. They possess beak, figure 4.23. The forelimbs are modified into wings. The hind limbs generally have scales and are modified for walking, swimming, or clasping the tree branches. Skin is dry without glands except the oil gland at the base of the tail. Endoskeleton is fully ossified, bony, and the long bones are hollow with air cavities, pneumatic. The digestive tract of birds has additional chambers, the crop and gizzard. Heart is completely four-chambered. 
They are warm-blooded or homoeothermous animals. That is, they are able to maintain a constant body temperature. Respiration is by lungs. Air sacs connected to lungs supplement respiration. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is internal. They are oviparous and development is direct. Examples. Corvus, crow, columba, pigeon, cetacula, parrot, struthio, ostrich, pavo, peacock, aptenodites, penguin, neofron, vulture, 4.2.11.7, class mammalia. They are found in a variety of habitats, polar ice caps, deserts, mountains, forests, grasslands, and dark caves. Some of them have adapted to fly or live in water. The most unique mammalian characteristic is the presence of milk-producing glands, mammary glands, by which the young ones are nourished. They have two pairs of limbs adapted for walking, running, climbing, burrowing, swimming or flying, figure 4.24. The skin of mammals is unique in possessing hair. External ears or panty are present. Different types of teeth are present in the jaw. Heart is four-chambered. They are homoeothermous. Respiration is by lungs. Sexes are separate and fertilization is internal. They are viviparous with few exceptions and development is direct. Examples, oviparous, ornithorhynchus, platypus, viviparous, macropus, kangaroo, terapus, flying fox, camelus, camel, macaca, monkey, ratus, rat, canis, dog, felis, cat, elephus, elephant, equus, horse, delphinus, common dolphin, balanoptera, blue whale, panthera, tigris, tiger, panthera, leo, lion. Refer table 4.2 for the consolidated salient features of different phyla in the animal kingdom. For more updates, subscribe to our channel.